Uh, today we are looking at how to upload assignments on VLA. So I'll go to the course on which I want to upload an assignment to. So we are going to that course. Yes. Initially, editing was off. Yes. So I'll turn on editing. You have to turn on editing for everything you want to do. You want to edit, you turn on editing. So I'll come here on this course. I'll say um, I want to put there an assignment. So I'll assignment. I'll name it assignment. Then I'll, I'll come here on add an activity. So on add activity, we look for assignment. Yes, so here we're going to start doing a setup. So I'll put in the assignment name. Let me call it assignment, whatever you want to call that name. We we'll call it assignment. Uh, we can put the description. Maybe it will add up to. Yes, uh, this one adds uh, up to. Up to maybe 40% of the total mark. So 40% of total uh, mark. So I'll display this on, on the course. So I'll come here. I, I can, I'll come here, I can a, either type the assignment in here, but I wanted to upload the file so that students can download it, look at it, and uh, re-upload. So, I'll come and drag and drop. Yes, so we have an assignment here. So, I'll come and drag and drop my assignment in there as I wait for it to to show me it's done because right now it's up uh, it's uploading when it's done uploading it will show me in a pictorial form so i'll come down here i'll allow submissions yes this is when students can start viewing and submitting uh they can start submitting their work so i'll start off by 9th it depends on what the lecture wants to set i have a due date I have a cutoff date. I can make sure that my my cutoff date is the same as the due date because if it's if it's less, it will fail. So I say that one was 16. Maybe I put that like uh, also like 16 or 17th when it will stop showing. So it will stop showing for the students. So I put the reminder a reminder for grading like essay. Because that's when this, this one will start reminding me that you need to grade. So I'll put it like 18. So my uh, submissions, was, um, these people will start submitting on 9th and uh, due date, cutoff and reminder. So we come down here on submission types because we are not doing online. We are doing file. Yes, a number, a maximum number of uploads. We make sure it's just one. Yes, because if you give them a lot, they will keep uploading many times. So we say, let them upload once or twice, depending on the lecturer. But we want once because students will upload many things. So the maximum number of um, of uh, size should be two MBs. Uh, acceptable file types. This is why another thing we need to change. We come and we choose. So most we are not most special. We do documents. Yes, leave them as documents yeah there are documents so we can have word we can have this we can have a uh, rick text format we can have uh, yes pdf we can have google documents so it depends on what you want to they can also put in images depending on on what the lecture wants you can also put in presentations yes we can say slides we can do that there's this one and that one so i can also come there are many things you can do i can also do pre spreadsheets yes depending on which files you want so i can do that i can so all those become the, the acceptable file types if a student goes beyond that they won't be able to uh that upload won't be shown on the lecture side so I save those. All these become my file types that I want them to submit. Submission settings. These ones are fine. Yeah. 
submission settings we come on restriction we add a restriction when you want students to start viewing yes we want them to start viewing today yes and no completion when this assignment will stop uh will, won't be able to they won't be able to be invisible so i can say let it be invisible by around this, i think 16 that's the cut of time they are said so i save and return yes so if i'm to disable um if i'm to disable i uh, turn on editing so it will appear like this so i have assignment so once students are done uploading or are done you can come back here and do grading so once they are they have uploaded you'll be able to see their names and their the the, the the files they have uploaded so you download that file and you download that file and start uh, marking from there also you can mark from here uh, thanks for listening